Hello everybody and welcome back to PJ Tour 2K21, hot off the trails of winning the Players' Championship, which has moved us up to fourth place in the FedEx Cup standings, and not far off Justin Thomas in third, to be honest. And we've got one more round, not scoring any bogeys, and we complete that Callaway sponsorship, which is absolutely incredible. And today we're going into the Valspar Championship at the Copperhead course, which should be, uh, should be good, should be good. Obviously we've got a lot to... We've just won the Players' Championship and major. We've won an actual major competition and uh, we're going into it. We've got a new outfit for, for this after winning a major coming on the second day. So make sure you tune in tomorrow to see what we've got because we've unlocked some new, uh, some new gear. But we're going to be going in with our what's becoming Bang Wang standard Adidas clobber, I think is what you can call it. But let's get in to the Valspar Championship, par 71. It's at 7,285 yards in total. I look forward to it. Let's go. Today's coverage of the Valspar Championship is about to begin. Delighted you're able to join us for this first round action. Luke Olvey here alongside Rich Beam at uh, the Copperhead course at Innersbrook, Rich. A soft opening to what's going to be a very challenging day. It's an easy opening, but in saying that, if you get a little bit out of position here at the first par 5, 560 yards, uh, you're in a world of hurt. You have out-of-bounds left that sneaks into you a little bit quicker. Bunkers down the fairway that you want no part of. All in all, if you walk off of this hole with a five, you're really not disappointed. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. So they really are taking the paint cans and the paint, the sponsorship from Valspar very seriously. Um, paint is everywhere. They have the little colour boards up during the intro as well. All very, very bizarre. But we are... Driving from the first tee into t into head-on 12 mile an hour winds. So let's see how this goes. It's a Tug decent start. Bit of a fast swing. Could be bunker bound. The, look how much that's held up in the wind. But yeah, we found that bunker on the left. Not too much to worry about at this stage. I think we will be fine. I mean, Bang Wang is just not, not happy with that, is he? He's like, I'm a... Major winner. Easy playing out of those fairway bunkers. I shouldn't be in Keep bunkers. He's, he's picking something out of the bunker, which is a bit weird. Um, again, into the wind. So we're just going to put a bit of a shape on this if we can. That will be fine. That will be lovely out of that bunker. Chip over that other bunker. Onto the green. Put it down for a bird. No, for a part. That would be par, wouldn't it? Is it par four or par five? Well done. It's a par five. So we can get on and... Have and a birdie. That would be lovely. So we're into a heavy wind. wind. We know that. So we're going to go face. seven iron. Try and land it towards the back. And we're actually going to put a bit of... Because I generally still overhit shots. So we're going to try and put a bit of uh, sunning, sunning on it to try and make it stop dead. Going with the seven. Go on. Go on. Go on and bounce. Oh, it held up more than I thought it would. I put too yes, much spin on it, but the green and have a putt, you'll take it. on the dance floor for a birdie. So for a big four on the not much movement at all. Really isn't much movement. We're going to just bring it in a little bit. Oh, it's going to go just past the left. Oh, so close. But we'll take the par. We, we don't mind starting with the par. This one. Definitely don't mind starting with the par. We'll take it. We'll take it. Evens through one. Not bad. Oh, that's a, the snake Starting pit. Around that's a an even path. statue, isn't it? So, um, oh, we're actually teeing off very early today. Oh, no, they're even par through six, so it's obviously quite a tough Here course. We are at the second tee. But, uh, they're saying three wood in 14 mile an hour wind. Wow, that is causing havoc. So we're going to try and pop it here and hope the wind takes it back towards. In fact, let's put a bit of shape just to make sure we do miss that tree. Good strike. We've got that. Got the, the off the tee. We're very, very good now. As uh, we need this to cook right. Yeah. So the wind really held it up. It's kicked left, which is really well, annoying. It doesn't take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be. Because we need to th thread the needle through those uh, through those trees again. I just I think just getting it on is probably better in this wind. So I've gone for an overpowered shot. I've hit it a bit line. slow. Well, the wind should, be should hold it. Get from the golfing gods here. Nice. Good. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Clubbed up because of the wind. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. Birdie opportunity. Go on. Oh! That's frustrating. 
Unlucky. Looks like it's going to be back-to-back -back pars. It's the bogey we need to avoid for the sponsorship. Don't need to see that again. I accidentally pressed it, didn't I? I keep doing that. I just love the logos. I love how detailed this game is with the courses, the clubs, the sponsorships, everything. It's so good. If you've got any inkling into in thinking you'd enjoy a golf game, go and see if this is in the sale because it is absolutely brilliant. It is. So, yeah, we're, we're keeping pace. Patrick Cantley the leading the way at the moment. Can really you, especially if you're with this, the, we've got a huge right wind in our favour. Am I going to be an idiot? Narrows up should you take driver out. Also the water on the right. So players more than likely laying back with some kind of fairway wood. Yeah, they're saying take a, they're saying take a three wood to go here and avoid all the water. It's a par four. I think if we get the distance and we do this right... The wind's going to blow it on. If we go there with a bit of shape. Yeah, I think I think we should be good. I think we should be good. We can potentially get on. <sighs> yeah, look, we'll see. Oh, no, but that is wet. That's wet. We need the wind to carry it. The wind's carried it. The wind has carried it. Thank the blank. Oh, hello. Stop. Now stop. Now stop. Yeah, the rough will hold it up. <sighs> this shot. Bit lucky. Bit lucky. Uh, so we've got wind with us. We'll go. Yeah, I think a overhit nine iron could be a, could be the thing here. Choosing the nine iron here. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Oh, if anything, if wind's caught it too much and taken it away, it'll be a chip on for for a par putt. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. What's it saying? Four yards, five a carry. Let's go. We'll go for a sand wedge chip. Like that. Get in the hole. Oh! oh that one was going in. So close. Well, that's an impressive little chip. So Let's close. Say, we'll leave ourselves a par, hopefully. Phenomenal. Yeah, we'll take the par, so yeah, we're still not we'll getting that. the bogey, which is good. But uh, even par all the way around. And it looks like that would be a decent score Let's have a look at Sergio Garcia come in a bit of Sergio Garcia on the fourth hole in a bunker looks like he's going to try and flop out and uh, whoa, he's hit oh, the pin and in Go ahead and pin and in for on, Sergio lovely yeah. stays even par as well so he'll be up there around near us we're just about Let's to play that hole I think the, the fourth as there's the snake pit again and there you go there's obviously quite a few players on even Let's par see what I think. happens here on the fourth yeah, so Sergio ended up in that bunker over there, not judging the wind, I would argue. Six iron to there, twelve mile an hour wind. Are we gonna is that gonna, gonna is that gonna be enough? Do we want to Oh I didn't know you could do that. You could zoom out about and look at your shot. That's that's handy. I've learned something new. I'm gonna put some spin on this. Yeah, I think we're gonna go five iron with spin. We'll, we'll naturally overhit it. The wind should hopefully bring it back in to play. Opting for the fire Good line. strike. Just the we'll wind's done its job. That's headed towards the green. Now sit. Ah, uh, no, not enough. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. It did get a horrible kick. You are right. Chip that out. Just put it close. We'll take the we'll take the par. We'll take the par. Mm, mm. These winds Straight are the top causing court. a little Judging bit of havoc, but uh, we're dealing with it. Okay. We're dealing with it. We're dealing with, it. We're, dealing with it. we're a major winner. We're a major winner now. So Just we're still even par. And uh, it's Gary Woodland outright on his own. So obviously Fortune Patrick Cantley had an absolute nightmare at somewhere. Here. Right, we can do a monster driver. drive here. Twelve miles an hour wind with. Beautiful swing there. There we go. That's going to be lovely onto the fairway. As long as we get a decent bit of roll. It's a steep old hill, isn't it? Which means our the ball's naturally going to come off the club Rich, left standing on a hill. Five iron hybrid wood three wood. Three wood with the wind. Really it's going to come I left, I said, didn't I? No so I think if we aim towards that bunker, put a bit of shape on it. Relentless. 
thankfully there is a steakhouse just off the 18th Street like Parker that steakhouse. that should avoid I the bunker there last night and potentially no 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 roll around the bunker was oh was I got my angle slightly anyway. off back to the golf course really difficult unlucky and unlucky the thing splash out with an nine iron wow I'm gonna flop out of the bunker thank you Should still catch the wind because it's going to go quite high up in the air. Oh, wow. That was a horrendous swing. It's come off the right, but it's put us in a position. Put us in a position for a birdie. Okay, so we can two-part this for par. Uh, got to make a good part here. On the seventh hole. And now we head to the seventh hole. Tony Finau for an albatross. Tony Finau has got plenty of power, but he's also got plenty of finesse. Wonderful effort. There's no way that can be an albatross. It's an, it's an eagle. Not an albatross, it's an eagle. I was going to say, that definitely can't be his first shot. That'd be ridiculous. To get to one under here with this putt. Right, birdie chance. This is a good chance. Drop. Oh. It was a, gallant attempt. It was a good, good strike of the ball. Make it was all pretty one. straight. It's for par. But again, we'll take the par. Yeah, we'll well, take the par. Even par seems, seems to be a decent score today. Seems to be a decent score. So he finds himself currently tied for fifth. Keeps me through, uh, even we'll through five. Some people are just starting to get sign. some negative numbers on the, the board now. At Innersbrook's Copperhead Course Ridge. Into the wind. Challenging one, isn't it? If you find the fairway off the tee here, you are it's an good. amazing human being. A bit of a fast swing. So it's going to go left. The fairway tilts from right to left very significantly. But uh, uh, it's going to give us a good little in. Almost impossible. Uh, well, maybe not, because we drifted into the rough, but that one. we're hitting into wind as well, which is a bit of an issue. I'm actually going to take the hybrid here. We're going to put some shape on this. Looks I'll hit that really fast. Here. Bounce and sit. Oh, so it could be a wonderful shot. Ooh, what a lovely... When you select the right club... It all feels brilliant. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you get For a birdie. A like that. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. Go. Yes. I hit it a bit hard. It had to drop. Otherwise, that was zipping well past. But we do go one under. Lovely jubbly. Let's recap the action from just some moments ago. On the seventh hole then. What have we got? Sergio Absolute again. Beauty here. Our new rival, obviously. So we'll watch him play a little bit. Lovely orange shafted club. There's, um, oh, pipe down, Sergio. We're not gonna. We're gonna stop watching you if you keep doing that, mate. We're gonna stop watching Let's you. Take a look at the leaderboard. So uh, we're tied first at one under. Bloody Deep hell! Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Nice bird in the last hole for a change. First Ten mile an hour winds. The they go with. In fact, I'm actually gonna put with now, the mark, with the wind. Hole, I'm gonna put a bit of shape on this. See if we can make something happen. Hmm. Great swing. I'm hoping that we're going to be all gravy from here. Let's get Bang Wang's view. He's fist pumping and absolutely delighted with that. So we'll get a photo. And uh, let's go back to the ball. It's in the light rough, but you've got to be happy with that, haven't you? You've got to be happy. 10 mile an hour wind. We're going to pitching wedge this up. Be a tough shot to get right, actually. Going with the pitching wedge here. I mean, I've hit it really well, according oh, to the this. thing. That's right just sit, sit. I've put spin on it. Oh, and then they go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Chip in for a birdie would be lovely, to be honest. Oh, I've left that short, really short. Not enough power. Should get the par par. There's the bend and there's the par. Again, we are we are playing well. We are playing well. One under through six, I think. Through seven. One under through seven. Top of the leaderboard. Kevin Nahr looks to be our playing partner. Also one under through seven. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. And uh, they're saying three wood in. We've got the wind with us, so I'm going to hit. Do I hit the hybrid and hope it carries, or do I hit a th five wood, which could potentially roll through? Hmm. A tiny little bit of shape. Again, it's a good hit. Is it going to be too good because of the wind? I think it is. That's going to have about 14 yards of roll. Yeah. 
That's a difficult... Well, if, a if there's no win tomorrow, that, I feel confident that we're Burnley this approach. hole. What is it? The eighth. Remember that. Remember I said that. Um, we're going to go one club up and then just bring it back a little bit. Something like that. Because generally I do under hit the chips, but that one's going to roll through. A little bit irritating that that's happened. Of nine feet. Looking good. Get in the hole. There we go. Lovely. Save the par. That's that's. I think it's going to be one of those rounds, isn't it? That's just what we've got to do. One Let's under. As we go into the ninth. Patrick Cantley on the eighth for the day. Currently tied for fifth place. And uh, he's chipped it unbelievably into the hole. He's delighted. Look at him. Patrick Cantley is scorecards score well. all over the place. He's one under as well, so he'll be joining us at the top. He yeah, could potentially be a playing hole. partner as well. So I think that's the hole we just did. Patrick Hanley. Yeah, through eight. So it's Kevin now, Patrick Hanley and us at the moment. Top of the leaderboard. All of us. All one under. Very interesting. Lots to play for. 11 mile an hour wins. We'll hold this up so we shouldn't hit that bunker. It's a good swing. The wind should hold it. This one's hitting safely for the fairway. There we go. Lovely stuff. It could have. Definitely could have bounced into the bunker, but the bounce has actually put us around flat bang into the that middle of the fairway, which is absolutely lovely. 11 mile an hour down. wins. We're going to take a 7 iron, and we're going to just put a bit more loft and hit it very well the through the iron. middle of the club. Wind this should hold it. Should find the surface. Good shot this. And sit. There we go. Boom. Come on, Bang Wang. Right bang Wang booming it. He's delighted. He's delighted in his Adidas gear. Ooh, good look at Birdie here. Come on for Birdie. Do this. Go two under. Top of the leaderboard. Bend. Bend. Break. Oh, oh. Good line. Didn't, but we should Just get the par. Three feet to the cup. There we go. Par's in. And that drop. Well done. One under through nine. Can't argue. Look at the colours. Look at raspberry sorbet. What's your favourite colour? Question for the comments. What's your favourite colour you can see there? I do like the raspberry sorbet or the cosmic pink. Tied for the lead still. Tied first on the first day. Twelve mile an hour wins. I've tried to absolutely level that, but I've hit it fast. Those people could be in a bit of trouble. It's going to come slightly come round because of the wind. Kick right, kick right, kick right. Roll right, roll right. Okay, we've got a good shot into the green. John's down on the course, right. and do you have a better look at this lie? Uh, they're saying gat wedge. Cut, yeah, gat wedge with the wind. Into that first I think cut is the right shot. This might not be all that bad. It's going to go a little bit off to the right, but we'll be nicely on the floor. Bang, bang, roll, stop. Birdie opportunities on. Just put it close. Quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole, Hole 11. Sergio. This is how you do it. Seven He's days four a week. over. Let's have a look at this highlight. Four over, yes. Sergio. Three over now. That's birdie. You're dreadful, mate. You're playing awful. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. There's not too much movement, to be honest. We'll bring it in a little bit again. It's a long way though, so the movement's going to be exaggerated. Oh, I've left that short. I've left that short. Missed anyway. Didn't put enough on it, but I did say I just want to put it close. Well we're about the pars today. We're all about the pars. Actually, we're all about the non-bogeys. That's what we need. But one under through ten. Still, uh, still good. Kevin Nah has gone to two under. He did birdie that hole. Let's see what happens here at the eleventh hole. So wind with. Let's go and absolutely stonk this one. If we can. Seems oh, like hello. That was an awful swing, swing coming back down. Perhaps paralysis by analysis. <laughs> awful. Awful, awful, awful. We're actually going to have to punch out, I think. Yeah, I don't think that's a very sensible shot to do. So we're actually going to come out here and play sensible golf like that. In fact, we'll put a bit of shape on this. Can we miss that tree? No, not really. Hmm. No, we're going to have to play this. It's going to hit that tree. I don't want to hit that tree. I have to play a little punch shot out like that. 
Where's that going to land? Can we just miss that? If, our, if that flight path is accurate, we should just miss this. There's no need to do that. Let's go out here. There you go. Little punch shot. Punch shot out. We'll take that. It's what you need to do when you're in trouble like that. You need, don't try and be Superman. Try and play it safe. Get into a position yeah, where you can the then chip option. to the green. You never compound an error with another one. Exactly. They know Around what they know. They know. To go. Just a stroke behind the leader. Not a bad strike. It's gone off well, a bit to the right at the end. It's going to be long. Oh. Too much with the wind. We need to ch have a good chip out of this bunker then. We need to probably flop shot. it. They're saying Definitely a splash. The, the splash goes... Splash runs on one. too far for my liking. So we're going to go for a flop shot out. Like that. Get in the hole. Oh. oh that one just missed the hole. Not quite in. But here. it's a good pass save. It's a decent pass save. It's a good, I've gone from good to decent in a matter of seconds. It's a decent pass save. It's not brilliant. And moving down the leaderboard but, as well. Well, we're not really moving down. We've stayed on the same score. Four. Five wood into that gap. We've got wind going right to left. We can easily clear the gap. Well, will the wind? The 12 mile an hour wind means it could, it could very easily not make this. Now, yeah, let's be sensible. Let's be sensible. Three wood. Uh, the thing is, I don't want to overhit my three wood either. We'll go five wood. Slow swing, so it's going to be going towards the water. So we do need the wind the to day. hold this up. Oh, it's, yeah. Wind held it up easily. That's the sensible again. I don't think the driver would have made it. I think it would have got caught in the wind. Is this Sergio chipping in again? It's not. It's Tony for now. In the rough. To the surface here. The green side rough. Oh, you beauty! An eagle. Ooh, oh, tasty little pitch That's shot. not for an eagle, is it? That's just got in par, apparently. Fist pumps all around. Oh, the There's game. Been plenty of talk about the right. prototype athlete these days in golf, Rich, and well, Tony Finau, he fits the bill, doesn't he? He's got a swing that is unique Six to time. himself, very short, compact, and yet so powerful. When he puts it all together, he oh, is God, a contender off to the right -hand each side. every week. Wind's going to bring it back round. Ones. Uncanny how often he's Oh, that's lovely. He's yeah. got a mind that is Good. So Glad I didn't take the five iron. Six iron was the right club. And that's exactly Could have been a bit of a better swing, but we'll events. take it. We were on a chance for a birdie. And this putt to move into a share of first. It's tracking. Yeah, what a putt. I didn't. I thought it would look good, but I didn't want to celebrate because it was moving left every time. But two under. Well, good move there. Top of the board. The with uh, Kevin now, who parred that hole. Off here on the 13th hole. What is the state of this? We'll take the five iron and we're going to aim for this part of the green and we're going to put a bit of stuff on this. Bit of shape. Mm. Miss that tree. Hit that side of the green. Hope the wind carries it. Well, you're in the hands of the tree gods now. No, we should be fine. Yeah, I've planned that well. That's come out really well. Go on. Go on, ball. Yes. You've sort of, I've sort of hit that as if we had a slice. A Lovely. Shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 13th. Of all the shots that I like the most, that Get one in. right up there. Yes, come on. What a hole. Played that magnificently like well. Three He's under. And this from Sergio Garcia. And Sergio Garcia, what's he done to try and play that as our rival? What's he got? Game is one of the best in the Still game. four over though, aren't you, Sergio? So well, that's a bonus. Well done. Bang, bang. On the Shoot on the Gavin. Comes out for Sergio. Well played, so sir. Call, this is the current standings on the course. Yeah, outright leading out. Three under. Take the on the hole. Again, they've given us the three wood. We're going to take driver. Strong winds right to left, so... Should be fine. We'll put a little bit of shape on it again. It might hit that tree. Let's, let's not hit that tree. I think it's going to go under that tree. Oh, it's come off the... It's, I, that felt like it came off right in the joystick. But with the wind, it saved us there. It has saved us. There's a concession stand if you're interested. Get your snacks and drinks. 
Already and now they're a saying of wins under their belt. Three wood there, wind right to left. I don't. I don't think there's much difference between playing. I'd rather play there, I think, and just generally be safe of that water. I think that is the more sensible option. Like that. It gives us a good shot in, still. There was no need to force the three wood. We, we weren't going to hit the green, so we weren't going to get the eagle. Bang, wang. Celebrates in the crowd. Or waves to the crowd. Not the celebrating just yet. They need to flight this one down into the wind. We're up. Like they're going with the pitching wedge. We're down. We're on the dance floor. Maybe a bit too much spin. Maybe not enough. Uh, well played, mate. Enough to attack Enjoy the flag. The, oh, look at this for a fucking green. What is this about? Way. Looks like a strong 25 feet. That's going to be all the way out here somewhere. What is this green about? Who made this? Oh, I like the look of this. Ooh, that's not a bad effort with that. That um, slope on the green. Feet to go here to the hole. They would uh, take that, take that all day. Good, sensible golf there. Good, sensible golf. So still three under, still leading by one. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Par three, 15th. Wind is only left to right, so that di technically the distance should be good, but it is the hybrid. So we're actually gonna. Oh, whoa, whoa, they're. Hmm. So if we hit our hybrid full, yeah, this is going to be a very technical shot. And that bunker is a bastard. Do you know what? I'm playing for the back of the green. If I get this right, we should end to the back of the, uh, towards the back of the green. That might be one club too many. Yeah. But what I was worried about is landing in that bunker, which probably shouldn't be an issue because I've actually been playing out of bunkers quite well in this game. But um, didn't seem to fit there no, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Take a little less club on that approach. From the 15th, Patrick Cantley. Right up and down. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantley. Wow. Lovely. Oh, rich. Puts him That's to two under, so he's still up. one well, behind us. The big boost promoted to the top of the leaderboard. Oh, we can't know it doesn't. For the don't lie. Shot at the 15th. We are going to pitch this one out. It will roll towards the pin. Oh. How close was that to going in the hole? Oh. Great shot. And that should Take the par. the par. Well done. Yep. Yeah. It's been a good and round. It's been a good round so far. Board. We're still uh, in the lead as well. Three under through 15. Driver over water. Go wind going left to we'll right. Strong. Here. So the ball will carry. And uh, it's a decent shot. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. It has cleared the water. And it's on the fairway into the rough. That's not too bad. That's Luke, not too bad. It did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. 17th hole, Sergio. Is he having a bit of a... No, he's not. Up and down. I was going to say, is he having a bit of a resurgence? No, he's now five oh. over. Wow. That was handy holding out from there. Birdie, oh, four over. Sergio is not out, causing us any troubles at all. In? Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? No, no, that's not enough. So, you're going to have to aim towards the front of the green. Ended up nestling itself down in there pretty good. Chosen a, bit a bit fast, here. but the wind will catch it. Too much. Too much. Too fast. The swing was too fast. Hit the ball too hard. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Can't fault him gonna, there. Uh, this rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. Are we going to splash or are we going to flop? Can we flop? Yeah. That could be a little perfect flop, to be honest. Could be a perfect flop. Could be a perfect flop. Oh, oh that's great. how just many of those hole. have just gone past and the hole? This putt coming up for his par. par. Again, again a par. And that's all we need. That's all we need. Two more holes. Two more holes and to play. That hole, leading Patrick Cantley by a stroke. We are leading Cantley by a stroke, and that is what we like to hear. Five wood into wind. Yep. Plays Done. longer than what's on the yardage. Any pin that's in the front part of the green is a difficult because one the to wind should hold this up. The then the bounce and roll so should narrow. get us towards the flag. 
with the five wood. Not, uh, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. We should two, we should two putt for par. It's pretty flat. Seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Oh, oh it's lipped it out, good, but and with that, take the par. par the yeah, car. take the par. One hole to go. One, I'm not going to say it. We've got one hole to go. We're leading by one stroke. One shot. Into 10 mile an hour wind left to right. The final hole of the snake pit. And this one here has everything going against it. Lay it back and you're going to have a long second shot back up the hill. But if you take driver and find the fairway, you'll be rewarded with a very short second shot. We've taken driver. We've hit our best drive of the day according to the swing map. I put it low, I try to keep it under the wind, and it has worked out a dream. It's right in the middle. Lining up from around 160 Six iron, pins at the back, wings left to right. To right. To We're going to take here. the seven. Wants to work it against the wind. It's a far swing, so it's gone left, and the wind's going to carry it. This could be out of bounds. Maybe this could be out of bounds. From the caddy. It's a bit strong, this. That's going to be out of bounds, I think. That's a shame. A this could be a bogey. Couldn't quite oh, my God. What on earth oh, am I meant to do here? Wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. I can chip it over and on. Can I get with a bit of shape? I need to get this absolutely bang on. It's up. It's over. And we need to putt this for par. I don't know how I've recovered that. That's surely got to be out of bounds in real life. Just about eight feet left to the hole. Please go in. No, no, no. That's a bogey on the scorecard. And we're not going to get the sponsorship contract. This one's for bogey. I've gone all the way around this pissing course and the last hole. The last and hole has given me a bogey. Well Two under for the day, which is brilliant. But that one bogey and on the 18th because I messed down. up my approach shot. In a tie for the lead. Look, it makes a tie for the lead rather than being out in front. Win. I shouldn't really moan, but I'm so well, annoyed we didn't get full points for the sponsorship. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you ah. But let's see what happens tomorrow. Maybe the winds will be a little bit nicer. I think with less wind, we're going to smash that course really easily. But we go into the next day. That will be in the next episode. We've, well, the sponsorship isn't done yet, so we have got another round to potentially not. This is the last event, so we've got to do this event and get no bogeys. So that's very, very interesting. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. We'll be back for the second round, the final day at the Valspar Championship uh, in the next episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. For now, I'm out. Cheers.